Hey, today we'll take a first look at Phase with a focus on the exciting new prototyping feature. By the end of this video, we'll be able to jump in, start designing, and create prototypes. After logging in or signing up, we'll be taken to the dashboard. Starting in the Drafts folder, our designs and animations will be stored here. We can press the New button to create a file from scratch. The Import button allows us to add multiple file formats into Phase and edit them. The formats currently available are SVG and Lottie. If we have a Figma file ready to use, we can import it directly with the Figma plugin. By default, files are sorted by last viewed date. This can be changed from the sorting menu. When we right-click or hover over a file, we'll have a couple of file options. Selecting Archive, for example, moves a file from Drafts to the Archive folder. The search bar is useful for quickly finding files. It searches one folder at a time. Over here we have Projects for organizing our files. Clicking the plus button creates a new Projects folder. For this walkthrough, we'll create one named Interactive Demos. We also have a shared folder that stores the files we collaborate on with our team members. Now, we'll click our username to switch between user profiles and add a new team. Let's add one now. After naming it, we can invite our team members using their emails. They will be added as members by default, where they can access all drafts in our team. We can limit the files that they can access by designating certain teammates as guests. We can adjust that by clicking this drop-down button. Another role we can designate is admin. Admins have access to manage the team after opening a file, we'll enter Design Mode. This is where we build static visuals. When ready, we can add interactions by clicking the New Action. The tools in the top left should look familiar. It's the essentials like Select, Shape, the Pen Tool for Paths, and the Hand Tool. The Select and Hand Tools are there to help you navigate around the interface. Whenever we select at least one element, the Mask Tool will appear above the canvas. If we select two or more elements, the Boolean tool will appear alongside the mask icon. On the left side, the panel displays all elements on our canvas, listed from top to bottom in layer order and the full action list, which displays all elements in the file with their hierarchy along with the actions created on each element. Once an element is selected, we'll be able to customize its properties, such as position, size, color, and more. Now, let's dive into the exciting new prototyping feature, which allows us to create interactive elements that respond to user actions. Let's create a simple interaction when a user hovers over it. With our element selected, we'll click the New Action Floating button. This creates an action and opens the Trigger Settings panel. The action bar appears, allowing us to manage our timeline. The action bar gives us control over our actions, we can rename or delete the action and play or loop the current animation. By default, our action is set to trigger on click of the selected element. Let's change this to hover by clicking on the event dropdown in the trigger settings panel. Now, we need to define what happens when the user hovers over our button. Let's change the color in the properties panel. Notice how phase automatically creates keyframes at the 0.3 second mark. We can adjust this duration if we want the color change to happen faster or slower. Next, add a background and we'll make the text darker when it's being hovered over. Let's test our interaction in the prototyping mode. Perfect, we've created our first interaction. For more detailed control over our interactions, we can use the timeline ruler or expand it to the timeline. Let's expand it by clicking the toggle. With the timeline open, we can fine tune our keyframes, adjusting exactly when and how elements change during an interaction and add easing. This gives us precise control over every aspect of our interactions and animations. Awesome, now we know our way around phase and how to use the powerful new interactions feature to create engaging interactive designs. To learn more, check out our other videos for deep dives into specific tools and features. Thanks for watching.